All right, so Redfall's finally out, and every YouTuber has just been dogging on this game. I mean, I get it, though. It's one of Xbox's first exclusives. It's been hyped up. It's been made from the same team that created the Dishonored series. Expectations have been set, and it's a lot to live up to. Now, everyone's been saying the game is boring, it's bad, buggy, and I've had tons of YouTubers I watch on the regular say it's just straight up not even worth your time. Well, it's on Game Pass, and I wanted to form my own opinion about Redfall and see if all the YouTubers have just kind of been hopping on the hater bandwagon. I played Redfall for about two hours, and honestly, I just don't understand all the hate. I don't think the game's going to be considered a classic or one of the best games ever made, but it's fun. I like the graphics. I like the gameplay. The opening sequence of the story was interesting enough that I wanted to play more. I mean... It's your typical, you have a quest, go to this part of the map. You might see something interesting that you want to explore on the way there. You know, there's looting mechanics, a skill tree, different characters, each one with different abilities. It's a fun gameplay loop, and I didn't really pay that much attention to the story, but it's rare I do in any games unless there's just really great writing. And, you know, a lot of games are just go to this part of the map, do this, come back. I mean... People are complaining that the map's not that big either, and I prefer that decision. We have plenty of other massive open world games that are boring as hell with nothing to see or do. And I'd rather have a smaller, more dense map so I'm not wasting my time traversing through it. I think it's cool though, and they did something different. We don't get a lot of vampire games. And I think it'll be interesting to see how the vampires got there while the world is this way or the, while the world is the way it is. And as far as bugs, there was one I ran into and it was a little annoying. I had to restart my Xbox. There was like a supply crate and I couldn't open it. But as far as bugs, I mean, that was the only one. I played it on Xbox Series S and the frame rate didn't bother me being at 30 FPS either. And I'm sure it runs a lot better on the Series X. The game just came out, and I understand that games should launch at a playable state, but the game is more than playable. I mean, it's nowhere near the problems we had with Cyberpunk or some of these other games. It's like, the game just came out today, and if there was one little problem or something like that, I mean, I get it. I've tried to make video games before. It's, it's difficult, you know? And I mean, I know this is the company that made, you know, Dishonored and all that, but Jedi, uh, Jedi Survivor had problems but that doesn't make it a bad game i think that you should honestly play it yourself and form your own opinion because i feel like it's just odd that so many people are jumping on it and saying it's the worst game they've ever played i've played some pretty shitty games and it's it's not it's definitely not the worst that i've played and like i said even as far as like the graphics and stuff like that i i think i love the art style i really do love the art style and you know, it's it might not be the most inspiring game, but I think it's different enough, and I think that if you actually play it, you will have fun. I played single player, and I still thought it was pretty entertaining. I don't really care, like I said, too much for the story, but I think the world's interesting enough, and I like the world enough that I want to explore it and look around. Like, these helicopters crashed at the beginning of the game, and you just see the smoke. It doesn't give you a waypoint of how to get there. You just see the smoke and you figure out how you want to get there. Now, something that was annoying to me about the game is when you die, it would send you all the way back to the firehouse, which is basically the hub area. And I didn't like that because then you have to run all the way back. You can find landmarks, but they might still be out of the way of where you were. And it can be kind of easy to die on the game, you know. I do like that they give you at least a little bit of a challenge. And I think it's cool how you have to tackle killing the vampires, like sh shoving a stake into their hearts and stuff like that. I like the different guns. I think they're cool. It's not as bad as what everybody's making it out to be. And I know it's Xbox exclusive, all this crap, but they tried something different.